I'm doing a new series asking nomads questions that might be relevant to you. So stick around to see what they have to say. I was just at a little gathering with some of my nomad friends. And while we were mainly there to have fun and celebrate the coming holidays, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to ask them some very important questions. And whether you are contemplating van life or RV living or figuring out how to be a nomad in some way, shape or form, I hope that this series is helpful to you. Last one has arrived! <laughs> So you all remember Dawn, and this is her box truck. So what is one thing that you that is easier than you thought it would be? Uh, one thing that's easier than I thought it would be, and people bring this up a lot, is like parking. People always ask me, where do I park? And the thing is like, honestly, parking has not been that hard. I'm not even gonna drive places where this truck doesn't fit. And it's really the same size as most like moving vans and dump trucks and stuff like that. So anywhere they can park on the street, I can park on the street. I just need to look around while I'm driving through a town. And honestly, half the time I can make a decision in like five to 10 minutes. So something that's easier than I thought it would be is just honestly where you sleep each night. Like if you're in a pinch, you can pull that off pretty easily. I mean, I fit in the truck, like just a regular parking spot, but there's like kind of an obvious tell. But even then, like nobody seems to really care unless you're in like a ski resort town in Colorado or something. So it's really easy to just park wherever you want. Something easier than I thought would be was adding more battery power and solar. And that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. What did you start with? Do you know? We just started with a 100 amp hour battery that was charging off of the alternator. And you added solar? And then we added solar and a bigger battery. Wow. All right. So you guys might remember Kai. She is in a different vehicle. You want to explain yourself, girl? Yes, I bought the truck of my dreams. I've been wanting a truck. It's a lot better on gas. It's not as heavy and it has four wheel drive. So I'm nice and safe in the snow. Something that's easier than I thought it would be is meeting community and meeting like-minded friends and people. It happens all the time. It's much easier than I thought it'd be. Um, everywhere I travel, Every state I go through, I'm able to link up with friends that are also nomads, are also adventurous, are also outdoorsy, and just totally love the life. And it's, that's a really awesome. I'm really grateful to meet community everywhere I go. And that's super easy actually to find. Okay, are you gonna do this without Tony? <laughs> yeah. So you guys remember Tony and Charles. Charles gonna take it for the team. Something that's easier than you thought it would be. Finding a place to sleep. I don't necessarily always, I travel with my wife, she's my navigator, don't always know where we're gonna sleep at night. And so sometimes that's a little stressful, but it's been very easy to find places, especially west of the Mississippi. Uh, east of the Mississippi is a little more challenging um, but you know, the first night we spent in a Cabela's uh, parking lot, we were just scared to death and didn't sleep hardly. And a month later in that same parking lot, I was running kids out of the parking lot. So it was like, not a big deal. What are some of the other places that you have seen that you can sleep that you wouldn't have ever thought of before doing this? Um, you know, casinos, uh, state parks are pretty cheap. I mean, here we're in Texas at a very reasonably priced campground. I mean, I think it was like 12 bucks a night or something. Um, a lot of uh, uh, government land uh, is great to sleep on, federal or state. So as long as you're picking up after yourself, um, 
it's pretty nice actually. Something that I find easier is actually finding campsites. Whenever I first started out, I was in a tent and it was a little bit harder to do it that way because you would have to have a place that it was safe for you to set up a tent. But with a van, you can literally pull into a parking lot. If you can't find something else, you just have to kind of know where you're at and check of course online. But parking is way easier in a van than I ever thought it would be. It was actually interesting to me how many of them said parking or finding a place to stay because I know that as people start out that is the main question and the biggest fear especially if they are not going to be paying for a place to stay like at a campground or other paid parking or overnight sites and there are so many websites and apps available to you to find free camping or free sites to stay overnight and I will leave those in the description below. I did a video about that actually and I will leave that as well so that you can see that it is not as scary as you may think. Uh, and if any of you have suggestions please leave them in the comments below because I know people will browse those and maybe learn something new. Maybe I will learn something new too. I always love finding out new things. And I actually think the main thing is, and you heard it here, is don't get freaked out. Just try it and you will see that once you do it, it won't be as scary as you thought it would be. Kali mentioned something that was really important as well. And that is that it is easier than you think to add things as you go along. I hear from so many nomads that wish they would have started with less and just figured it out as they went along because they have so many things or got so many things that they really don't need. And so I think that is a really good rule of thumb anyway, but just hearing from somebody that it is easy to add on even power needs or anything that you may find along the way. I always like the challenge of starting minimally and then adding as I go, trying to kind of live more with less. And I find that I actually do need less than I think. And Kai touched on something that is really important and many of us wonder about. And that is, it is easier to make friends than you may think. It's a scary thing to go into a new place and not know anybody, but I find that there are so many like-minded people and people who love being outdoors or doing what you're doing. That's why you're there. And so it is easier than you think to get to know somebody because you have something in common. And it may be that those friendships are short-lived just for the time that you're at the place that you're at. And that is great because you can just have fun and enjoy the time and the opportunity and the experiences that you have at that place. Or they may become friends like some of these friends of mine who are long-term friends and that you may have as friends for a lifetime. So you just never know and you will never know if you don't get out there and try. And so I would just encourage you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and just go show up. That's the hardest part is just showing up. I did that. I went to so many places just by myself and just sat there and was like, hi. And that's all you have to do is just say hi or sit outside your van or your RV or whatever you got, truck, car, and be available because that is when people know that you are approachable. So that is, I think, uh, really good advice from Kai. Thank you, Kai. So there you have it, the things these nomads found easier than they thought. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ready? <laughs> Wait, okay. You can ask me Quiet on the set! <laughs> Yes. So what is something that you didn't know you needed, but now you can't live without? Bucky. <laughs> I need my Bucky. Bucky's good. Yeah. Bucky's my navigator. Bucky takes me where I need to go. And I can get a rocket launcher, I get a smoker, and a brisket sandwich, and a Coke for the road, and we're all good to go.